What's up guys, got my fish fry, my good luck charm right here. But if I catch any pompano today, I'm not gonna be frying it up. I'm gonna be either smoking it or baking it in the oven. Got the Jeep all packed up, canopy on, poles up on top. I really need to get me six rod holder up here on the front or either in the back, I haven't decided yet. Rooftop temp, still sitting here like it has been. At least I got the plate. It's a beautiful day today. Look at that, man. It is gonna be beautiful out today. So hopefully guys, we uh, this little fish fry deal works here and we get some big pompano, man. I'm looking forward to it. So we're probably gonna go down about, I don't know, we're big shell, little shell. What I'm gonna be looking for is the clams that are on the beach, the coquina clams, I guess that's how you say it. And we'll be looking for them. Once I find them, I'll find the pompano. Let's get fishing. card I can get? It should send you a card. Well, it doesn't. I usually pick it up here. Uh, not that I know of. I believe once you do it online that it will mail you your card. Huh. It's never done it before. Every time they tell me to bring this and you guys will give me one. Not that I know of, no. Yeah. I've gotten them every time. Because they never send a card. They tell me to get it here. Okay. Well, I can't just bring it out. Yeah, I'm just supposed to show that, and then you guys are supposed to give me a card. That way I don't have to have that paper. It's for a full year. Thank you. Here we go, You too. Oh, they weren't going to give me a card, man. I always get my card here. I pay for it online for a whole year, 45 bucks, and then they... Uh, they give me a card here and she was saying, oh, they sent it to you. Now they don't send it to you. So, good to go, guys. Good to go. Now let's hope we catch some damn pompano today. For those of you guys wanting to know where I'm located, I'm actually about 28 miles down Padre Island. About mile marker, between mile marker 28 and 30. Lots of shells everywhere, and I had, did have to put it in four wheel drive to get to where I'm at right here. There was a couple of spots where I almost got stuck because I didn't have it in four wheel drive. Let's get the canopy undone, get it set up, and uh, start fishing. This thing is not easy to get up with one person, guys. I'll tell you that. I can't wait till my sister comes down. It'll be pretty damn easy to get up. Definitely takes two people to put this up. You can put it up with one, but it's a pain. And on a windy day, guys, oh, it's bad. So let's go check out the surf. The surf doesn't look too bad. I'm actually looking for those coquina clams. I haven't seen any. I've stopped numerous places. Today, we are going to be targeting pompano. I'm gonna see if I can bring in a big pompano. Hopefully. Hopefully I can do it guys today. I want to taste pompano. I've never, never eaten pompano. So today we're going to be using Fish Bites, brand new bag, easy shrimp, easy clam, and fish and strip sand flea. So that's what we're going to be using today. And then I got two pounds of shrimp down there. These are the ones I usually use right here from Walmart that you could buy for less than two bucks right here. And you can see the hook on it. Now they've done a pretty good job. Now I ordered some uh, Salty's Pompano rigs that come from Florida. Check the difference out, guys. You got a nice 
shiny float, a colored hook to match the float, orange. And then over here, I got the pink ones. I also have some yellow ones as well. And you can see the difference in the quality right there. Pink hook, pink float. Ah, right, let's get fishing. I can see some fish running in the waves. I know my balls are gonna freeze. This water is chilly. Oh man, and look at all the bait fish right there in the wave. So I'm not gonna cast this very far because man, that's a huge wave. All right, here we go. See if we can just get it right there and see if they're biting right past the, in the first gut. Never know. Baby. I think I got a baby one. It's pretty good size whiting. That ain't bad. Good size whiting, guys. Man, these waves are big here. Let's see if we can get past this and get this out before another one breaks. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I got something. Now that's a little, uh, a little whiting. Oh. Might have got him. Damn it, another good size whiting. Really good size whiting there. That's not what I'm after. I got a fish. Yeah, look at that. Another good size whiting. Ah, stop, 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 stop. fish on there. So, if I was after whiting, it would be a good day. I'd stay here and fish and catch whiting all day long. But that's not what I'm after. Could be a pomp, guys. Hopefully it's not another whiting, but it's slacking up coming towards me. And usually that means it's a pomp. Baby drum. And he's foul hooked, look at that. Foul hooked, guys. There we go, right there. 
Good side. Baby drum. The heck? What is that? That's the smallest drum I think I've ever caught. And I and I've in both drum I have foul hooked. Look at this. Look at that little baby drum, man. That is just a baby. That's got to be the smallest drum I've ever caught, guys. It's a baby, man. Probably a whiting. It's pretty heavy. It'd be nice if it was a pompano. Look at that, what is it? Oh no. Damn. One of them damn puffer fish. There you go. Look at that mouth. Look at that thing puff up. Now let's get him back in the water. Well, I tried my best out here, guys, but uh, all I caught was about six, seven whiting, good sized whiting. You could have taken them home and cooked them up for dinner. They were, they were big enough. Big puffer fish, a couple of drums, the smallest drum I've ever, I've ever caught since being down here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get off this beach because the tide, tide is coming in. I'm still 15, 20 miles down, well, about 15 miles down Padre. And we're gonna swing by my favorite spot in the bay and throw a lure, throw a DOA shrimp, maybe throw a couple poles in, see if we can catch something before dark. All right, guys, we're gonna try to throw a DOA shrimp with my light tackle setup. And uh, I just seen some bait jumping out of the water right there in a wooden mullet. See if we can finish this day off with, with a trout or something, I don't know. Yeah, we got one. A little sand trout, look at that. Pretty good sized sand trout. Come on, stop, stop. Sand trout, guys. Look at that. Yeah, I missed them, damn it. No, I still got them. Whatever it is. Let's bring him in and see what it is. Oh, wow. One of big old freaking uh, lizard fish. Look at that thing. Pretty good size. The surf was just a little too rough today and too, way too much seaweed. So, came back here in the bay and it's pretty much dead. So I apologize, guys, but I mean, this fishing, man. <laughs> but those pompano rigs are doing pretty good. Um, they caught me a couple whiting, and uh, I like them. They're a lot more expensive than the ones at Walmart, but they just look a lot better in the hooks. I like the hooks a lot better. So we'll see if they actually work better and catching pompano when the surf clears up and gets calmer where it's not as dirty. All right, guys, I tried. Not every day can you catch fish. I did catch a lot of whiting. That's not what I was after though. No pompano and lizard fish and croaker and stuff like that. Just your average fish that you catch down here on a bad day. But I appreciate you guys watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button, and we will see you next video. Peace, guys.